Hi guys, I hope you're well. Today's video is going to be a haul video as you can tell from the title. Um, I've actually been requested to do this quite a lot but I'm not much of an avid shopper so I don't really do hauls. Like this is my first proper haul. The other haul I did was a drugstore beauty haul but this one's like everything. And I'm sorry if I keep sniffling in the video because I think I'm coming on with a cold. Oh, there's loads going on in this video and I've got so many things to show you so I want to get right into it. I do hope you enjoy it. Don't, give it. don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and keep watching to see what I've bought lately. So I went to Superdrug recently and I bought a couple bits and bobs. Some things I just bought because I need them because I finished um, previous products I already have. Some things I just bought because I wanted to try them out. This is the Rimmel um, brow, eyebrow pencil. I used to use this ages ago when I was like, when I first started wearing makeup for my brows. Um, and I started using it again um, a couple days back, a week ago, and I'm loving it. And this is in the shade Black Brown. It says Black Brown, but it's really a mid-brown tone to me. And this is my old one. Look at it, guys. Yeah, there's nothing I can fault it with, really. It's just my go-to brow product at the moment it's cheap and it works well and it's easy to use I recently lost my eyelash curler and I love curling my lashes so I got this one from Superdrug it's a Revlon one um, and it's like a glittery pink one um, I don't know I don't really care about how it looks like I just wanted a functioning lash curler and this was on sale so I got this I think it was like two or three pounds I bought something from I Love Makeup now I see I Love Makeup as like a drugstore dupe um, brand for Too Faced because they do a lot of things that copy Too Faced for example they have these chocolate bars which copy the um, Too Faced chocolate bars and actually really, chocolate bars the chocolate palettes I actually really like them they're really good if you want something alternative to Too Faced even though I love Too Faced and I think they're like one of the best makeup brands but yeah they doing they're doing these lip lavas which is like the lip thingies by Too Faced and I bought this nude one in the shade um it doesn't say what shade it just says with vitamin E um if I find the shade I'll put it in the description box I'll look for it online um by the way I bought these in store just in case you guys are wondering and the final thing I got was this colossal um mascara by Maybelline I used to use this ages ago so I thought I'd repurchase it because I want an extra mascara with me just um because I need a mascara to be around all the time. These are stuff I bought a couple days ago. Most of the things I'm showing you in this uh, haul I've bought in the past two weeks. So, um, yep. Yeah. Next, I am going to move on to Inglot. <clears throat> I love Inglot as a brand. I love their stuff. Whenever I'm in London, I always go to the Inglot store in Westfield, which I think is on the second floor in Westfield in Stratford. A lot of you guys ask me where you can get LA Girl Concealers. They're in a shop called Beauty Base, which is on the bottom floor. Just in case you're wondering. Um, anyway, um, I love the um, water permeable nail polishes by um, Inglot. And I've got the white one. And I've got this one, which I absolutely love. Like a mushroom colour. But then, like, it's got gold flecks in it. It's beautiful. Not flecks, but it's just a glistening gold. It's a really nice nail polish. Um, I definitely advise, if you want to go and check them out, this is definitely a nice colour. Um, these cost around, I think, £12. I'm not so sure, but I do believe they're around that price. I love the Inglot matte lipsticks. I think Inglot's matte lipsticks are the best la matte lipsticks out there. Like, you get a lot of matte lipsticks that aren't really matte. For example, I don't really class the uh, MAC matte lipsticks as matte because they still have a little bit of a sheen. But anyway, um, this is the Inglot matte lipstick and it's in the shade 404, which is like a beige nude. And I really, really love this. It's really I, I can't really wear this on its own because it's too beige and it just completely deletes my lips but um, it's really nice to mix with uh, li uh, other lip colours for example today I've done like a huge mixture I'll let you know, guys know what I have on at the end of this video so keep watching to find out and I'll tell you guys um, but um, anyway they all, they all smell like raspberries and they're just so matte and they're so beautiful and they're not drying so I really really love them they're my favourite matte lipsticks I believe they're around 
£12 as well. Final thing from Inglot is I got this um, under eye concealer. I don't actually use it for my under eyes um, because it's like the same shade as my skin tone. So I like to use a lighter concealer on my under eyes. So I've actually been using this just to conceal spots on my face. And today actually I don't have any foundation on. I just have a little bit of this on certain areas like around my nose, um, on my blemishes here and here, on my chin. That's all. I have nothing else on like other than a little bit of pad to set everything and under eye concealer. But I absolutely love this like it's amazing I have it in the shade 93 and it's beautiful I think it's, this is around 12 pounds as well but I'm definitely gonna be purchasing another one of this is great to travel with I think because it's small and you can just like when you're traveling you can just pop it in with your hand luggage and because it's less than 100 mil and it's plastic and you could just apply it real quickly and it just looks amazing on and it stays on amazingly doesn't crease looks amazing i just love this like i literally love this product i really do i'm gonna go ahead and talk about my tk maxx stuff because i'm really excited about them sorry about the noise in my tk maxx bag and as you guys know and if you don't know already i'm going to nigeria in like a month and a week and I'm super super excited and I've already started shopping like I have a whole to-do list and to buy list this summer when I traveled to Malaysia and Turkey and Lebanon in between the travels I was I literally had like a couple weeks and the time between coming back from Turkey and then going to Lebanon was like three days or less like two days so I was all over the place and I did promise you guys I wanted to do a hand luggage what's in my hand luggage video I will be doing it and shot a lot definitely will be doing it um, before going to Nigeria because I'm gonna be packing beforehand and I'm not really doing anything and I have like a month and a half until I go so I have loads of time and I've already started shopping for things um, so I'll definitely show you guys a video on that let me know if you're interested I don't know if anyone's experienced this but every single time I traveled this year I got stuff leaking on my clothes like for, for example shampoo um, moisturizers body moisturizers etc um, even if I put it in a bag, a plastic bag, it would still leak out. So I found this at TK Maxx and I'm literally, I think that, I think this is like my favorite thing in this entire haul. It's like a huge bag and it's got like a horse imprint, horse, horse imprints um, on it. And it's kind of, it's got like a waterproof material uh, lined inside and it's also got an uh, extra compartment in there. Which is amazing, I think, because I can put like all my toiletries, all my shampoos, all my um, body moisturizers, all my body stuff basically, oils, anything. All goes in here and zip it up, put it in my bag, so waterproof. If anything leaks, it doesn't get on my clothes. Okay, so you're wondering, this was eight pounds down from eighteen pounds. Next thing I got from Super TK Maxx is this makeup bag, and it's huge. Like, look at that. Look how huge this bag is. It's so pretty. I love, love the design. I love these kind of designs, neutral colors. And then purple, my favorite actual color inside, which is so cute. I just dropped all my tea on the floor. I dropped all my tea on my scarf, on my beats. I, I seriously think I'm getting ill. Like, I feel like a fever coming on. The reason I got this is because usually when I travel, I put all my palettes like in my bag in between my clothes but with this everything fits like let me just show you what I'm talking about palette and look it fits perfectly in side and also another amazing thing which I really love is it's got a cushiony kind of material inside so nothing can break like everything is going to be safe in here so in my hand luggage i'll probably have like a couple bits and bobs just to refresh my makeup because it's going to be a long travel but um this is going to be my suitcase where all my makeup is going to be so um because i need to look glam on certain days over there so yes loving this i bought a scrubbing mitt which has like two different sides like a soft side and a harsh side i know that hotels provide them but i prefer to have my own I bought this coffee scrub. I love coffee scrubs and I usually get mine online but um, I saw this at TK Maxx and I've never seen it in a store before so I, I just grabbed it and it's 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 coffee and vanilla flavour and I love vanilla and it just smells so good. One of my favourite things to travel with is this nail polish removing thingy. I don't know what to call it. You stick your finger in and you just twist your finger and then your nail polish comes off and I think this is really handy when you're travelling. By the way, the price of this was nine, £3. Um, this was 
seven pounds and this was three pounds also we're gonna just talk about something miscellaneous um and it's these nude leggings which i got from ebay actually but they're originally top shop um and they're such good quality like i can't even explain to you how much of an amazing quality they are and they're just so comfortable i wore them when i was in london absolutely love it i just searched nude um leggings on ebay and these came up and i think they were like 10 pounds i bought like a bunch of clothes from zara i think we should begin with zara um first of all i'm gonna start with something really simple and it's zara perfume and this is in the, this this is called wheat which is like night in french and i said it completely wrong probably um excuse my completely horrible french um but honestly if you are looking for cheap perfumes that don't smell cheap zara perfumes like seven pounds for a perfume like it's so cheap like all the perfumes are so so cheap and they smell so so bloody nice by the way warning there's gonna be loads of stuff that smell nice in this video like this is the first thing but there's loads i am obsessed with perfume i think my weakness is perfume like seriously that's my weakness because i love good smells but i bought this top which is basically a top with a little cape at the back and it's in the shade uh it's in like a sandy shade a, so a stone shade um and it's uh, not full sleeves so you don't have to wear sleep if you're a hijabi you wear sleeves and um a top underneath but i really just love the color and i love the simplicity and i love the cape at the back if you watch my autumn makeup video i was wearing this scarf and i absolutely love it this scarf is huge it's basically a neck scarf but i wore it as a hijab and um I got this from Zara. This is I actually got this in store from Zara, and um, I think it was like fourteen pounds. Another scarf that I got from Zara, and it's this cotton one. Um, it's it's a little bit lighter material. This is something a lot of you guys are gonna like because you're always asking me. Um, everybody always asks me where I got my skirts from. You know my maxi black skirts. Um, usually I get them from eBay. If you just search maxi um, jersey skirt you will get loads of different like colors and designs and stuff same skirt that i usually wear and it's just a long very long very long skirt and i got it in the shape size i keep saying shade like what's wrong with me i got it in the size medium um and it's really comfortable i think this was like 20 pounds or 15 pounds the material is a lot better than the ebay ones the ebay ones um i have to repurchase them like every month because they get ruined really quickly next i've got a um, midi dress which i actually wore when i was in london um i don't think i put any pictures of that whole outfit though but do you know the picture where i put like my shoes like picture from above well it was this dress and it's looking like this and it's got like lines going down i love this kind of material and it's got a little bit of a neck there it's short sleeves so perfectly figure hugging which is why you should probably wear something on top if you want to not show your figure um which is what i typically do but um i absolutely love it love it love it i've got it in the shade medium and i think this was 15 pounds i don't think it was 20 pounds i don't have the label on because i've worn it but yeah i really love this like i really love this i've got more skirts I've got this midi skirt which is it's actually not really midi it's more of a maxi but it just comes right above my ankles kind of thing like maybe this much over my ankles um, and it's a black skirt and it's the same almost the same material as this but it's a black instead and it's got like lines going down but you can't really tell in the camera from here probably and I actually got the matching crop top which is long sleeves it was 10 pounds and I got it in a large and this top, uh, this skirt, sorry, was £13 and I got it in a medium. Final things I've got from Zara, this gorgeous turtleneck and it's such a nice colour. I wore this actually in one of my videos recently. Very light and it's very loose. Um, I got it in a, I think I got it in a large. Let me just double check. I don't know why, but it doesn't say what size it is. I don't remember what size it was. Sorry. But, um... I absolutely love this colour and love it and I believe this was probably around £12 as well. Finally, actually I still have one more thing after this and these two are like my favourite things out of everything but I got this jacket 
I love this. Like recently, I'm in love with khaki and these kind of colors. So I got this jacket from the Zara website and it's just, I can't begin. Like, I don't know where to begin. It's just a beautiful jacket. It's quite heavy. It's, it's really good quality. Um, this was 40 pounds. Um, and I got it in a large, but I wish I got it in an X large because I like the oversized look, but there was none in stock. But I absolutely love it. I absolutely love it. And I'm saving it to take on holiday. I bought these shoes, guys. Look at them. Look at them. I mean, I don't even know where to begin. Oh, I love it. It smells so good it's real leather they're really comfortable as well like i walked around at home with them i know i'm a low life these are 50 pounds and i got them in a size six arabian old arabian old has my heart inglot and arabian old are like next door to each other at westfield stratford in london and um i always pop into arabian old like my friend is the manager there so i went to see him and I also got some perfumes. Oh my god. First of all, guys, guys, guys. Do you know what? If you don't see perfumes the same way as me, I don't know how to explain this love. Like, I really don't. I'm not a materialistic person, but when it comes to perfumes. Anyway, I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about this perfume. This is a new one they've, they're actually setting in store. I don't know if they're selling it online, but I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure they are. It's called Rosewood. The packaging is always on point. This is what it looks like. Oh, this is what it looks like. <laughs> like, I'm not even going to be using this. I'm just going to be watching it and then just sniffing it. Guys, you need to go and, and smell this. Rosewood. Go and tell Ahmed at Westfield that you want to smell rosewood. The Habiba said go smell rosewood because this stuff is amazing. By the way, there are Arabian wood stores all over the world. So, wherever you are in the world. Um, search online if you've got an, an Arabian Award store wherever you are and I'm sure you'll find one I there's definitely one in Dubai there's definitely one in Lebanon that I've been to I've been buying their perfumes for maybe like five years since five years ago and I've never faulted them like I've got so many perfumes by them because I absolutely love them like I literally like I can cry because I can sit here and actually talk about their perfumes all day I'm gonna stop boring you guys um, and just say that this perfume is amazing and I purchased this and it was 120 pounds yes a little bit pricey but definitely definitely worth it and they do always have like percentages off when you go in store ask um, and maybe you'll get some percentages off and um, Oh, sorry. And inshallah, soon I will probably have my own. Um, they're sort of refurbishing their website. And after they do, I'm going to have like my own discount code. So you guys can purchase stuff with like 20% off or 10% off or whatever. But yeah, this is amazing. I also got um, an oil from them. Their oils are amazing. Like literally, this is the packaging. And it just comes on. Yeah, these are like they stay on your skin forever and they're just amazing. So, yeah, I bought that and that. These are the two things I got. And Rosewood has like its own bag. This is Rosewood, it has its own bag, which is pretty cool. All right, finally, final purchase. Um, I went to Joe Malone for the first time yesterday and uh, I, I succumbed to the. Um, the attraction. I've actually haven't opened this since the woman packed it and I really didn't want to open it because I want to take it with me to Nigeria but oh gosh I'm gonna do it for you guys because I'm nice so yeah so let's do this. First of all their packaging is like so cute. I went in store by the way in Grand Central there's a new um, shopping center in Birmingham it's gorgeous it's called Grand Central and it has like really nice stores in there. I feel like it's my birthday like seriously. Look at I bought the dry body oil and the candle in the same scent because this scent, guys, 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 guys. I can't, I can't even, I cannot even. I got the um, Oud and Bermot, ber Bergamot, Bergamot, I can't speak, uh, Oud and Bergamot um, dry body oil, it's called a dry body oil but it's basically just a perfume for your body. 
I don't even want to spray this. Like, I have vowed not to spray this until I go abroad. It was £50. And the candle, which also smells divine, is basically the same smell. And it just looks like it's a black candle, by the way, which I think is so awesome. I've never had a black candle before. And it looks really nice. Um, this is also £50. The reason why I'm buying loads of things, I'm staying in Nigeria for three weeks. Yeah, exactly three weeks. So I'm going to be there for quite a long time. So I want to make sure like I have everything I need at all times. And <clears throat> having candles in my room is really important for me. So that's why I'm bringing this with me. I think they have the oils in three scents. Um, the body oils. And they're all like Aoud smells. And there's one that's very feminine. I think it's like Aoud and Rose something. And if you girls like more feminine smells, you would love this. But I'm more into masculine perfumes. So this is the masculine one. And I love it. Like, I absolutely love it. It's beyond perfect. Also, something really cute. They gave me their own, like, matchsticks to use for the candles. That's pretty much all I've bought in the past couple weeks I do hope you enjoyed my haul it is all over the place and I'm sorry about that I'm not trying to show off in any way like this is just a video just to show you guys what kind of things I buy also for those wanting to know what I've got on my lips I have um, the naked Urban Decay sorry what am I saying the Urban Decay lip liner in deep and then I've got a little bit of NYX lip cream in Stockholm and then I've got a little bit of the um, Inglot lipstick on top and also before I leave you guys I definitely want you guys to check out Harper and Rose I got these jewelry from them and this necklace that I'm wearing right now and I absolutely love them like literally the best jewelry I've ever had and they're so simple like I don't like having too much jewelry and I like having like little simple pieces that look really nice and these are the ones like this bracelet is just gorgeous and this ring is just gorgeous I've been rambling all day and I'm sorry for that but I do hope you enjoyed this video I need to go and clean that tea which is all over my floor thank you so much for watching if you're still here um, I really appreciate it and yeah let me know if you've tried any of the stuff I've purchased or you have any of the stuff I've purchased and what you think of them let me know if you recommend anything perfumes makeup anything um, I'd love to check it out and I will see you guys in my next video. Love you. Bye.